Well, kicking it over to Dodge County, check out this story. When something tries to get in the way of accomplishing your goals, you have two options. You either stop on your tracks or you find a way around it. And that is what these two siblings do every time they step on that soccer field. I spoke with them about how they don't let their physical challenges keep them from making goals in games or in life. When Nolan and Graceland Rogers take the field. I like um, running and like shooting the ball. They love to show off what they can do instead of dwelling on what they can't. I was missing my fibula and I had to have it amputated. Lots of people ask me about my leg and what's happened and I tell them that it's fine. I don't care if they ask about it. And they think something happened, but I told them I was just born this way. They're not biological siblings, but when Michelle and Albert Rogers adopted these two from China, they knew both children would face obstacles. But we knew that they could overcome them. And they have, from Graceland learning to dribble and shoot with her prosthetic to Nolan mastering a one-handed throw-in. I don't treat it as a disability. I treat it as an ability to be able to learn how to do it differently. Sometimes it's going to be hard, but in the end, it's really going to help. Graceland now plays for Dodge County Middle, while Nolan suits up for the high school. Their determination inspiring their teammates and even coaches. If they're working so hard and they have a not an excuse, but they have something that maybe other people would see as holding them back, then you should not have an excuse. Instead of making excuses, these two cheer each other on and they have a message for anyone else facing an obstacle in life. I tell her she can do it. She tells me we can do it and we we'll both get through. Just to keep going no matter what. It was such an honor to meet Graceland and Nolan. Of course, this story kind of resonated with me. As many of you may know, I have a birth injury in my right arm and actually heard about Graceland and Nolan through my former soccer coach, who also encouraged me to keep playing despite my disability. Now, so we are rooting for you, Graceland and Nolan. We know that they have some great things ahead of them. And they have another sibling with a disability as well, and they are actually two of seven kids that their parents have adopted, with nine kids total in the family. We'll share more about their family in this story on 13WMAZ.com. Just look for it a little later on this morning.